right, you guys, thanks for checking out Rocky Mountain Backcountry again. It's time to give you guys a full cool walk around of the new trailer. So check it out, you guys. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't. Let's check this out. You're welcome. All right, you guys can see by looking at the background, we still got some snow on the ground up here and uh, Hopefully the wind will play nice with me. It's just a little bit chilly. That wind has got a little chill on it. So anyway, check it out. So uh, this one is a lot more improved from the last one. So I'm gonna bring you guys up close and show you exactly what we got here. So check it out. We have the same siding, the same uh, panels that we used for the siding on the last trailer, but some of the new things are we got RV molding. We have a regular RV door. Check that out. Totally pro, you guys. I love it. And uh, we, I ended up on this one, I built my own chassis. For that and it is two inch by two inch steel and that is one eighth wall so plenty of stoutness there and I was able to put a tractor supply tongue box on there let me show you what you got in here you guys cool diesel heater we got the deep cycle battery sitting in here everything's wired up goes all the way to the back there and then the solar panel ties into that fuse panel in the back we have dual LED exterior lights on this side and this right here you guys this check it out this is what I'm calling the AK 40 kitchen gun case Hence the pew pew reference. Anyway, check it out. Attached to the trailer, I got six bolts going all the way through, holding that together. We've got uh, we got the sink. We're gonna go into full kitchen mode. We got the collapsible sink. We got our utensils. We have two burner stove all set up right here. These foam pieces are in here to hold in. Ah. The little tops of the stove. So anyway, I'm going to bring you guys in close. Check it out. So here is the gist of the AK-40 kitchen. Utensils, two burner stove, propane. Propane quick connect out here on this side. And... Underneath here we have some storage. I've got a towel. I've got my propane hose I've got a little olive oil spray that we're going to use here in a minute Some paper towels some napkins Some plates utensils washing soap This is a shield for the stove in case you need it Everything is sealed off You can see everything sealed off from going underneath the stove there sweet You guys, let me know what you think about the AK-40 kitchen. I dig it. So, not only can it be attached to the side of the trailer, 
Uh, you can also throw it in the back of your side-by-side. -side. You can throw it in the back of your whatever your overland vehicle is. Um, I'm thinking about making those. Let me know what you think about that down there, you guys. Uh, I'm digging it. I'm going to hook me up with some supper tonight on that thing. So stay tuned for that. Let's keep going with the trailer. So on this trailer, you guys, I ended up buying a door. And, woo, look at that. Put a gas strut on there. This is the inside of the storage in the back. On the last one, I kind of had this set up as kitchen, but on this one, where I've got the AK-40 kitchen, this is gonna be like all storage. And I've got a table in here, a tarp. I've got tons of room for all kinds of stuff. This is a little soft-sided cooler that I just threw in for supper tonight. And yeah, all the switches, got lighting, got lighting over here. That is the solar charge controller tied right into the fuse panel and then up to the battery yeah you guys i'm digging it down low on the trailer we got the led turn signals and tail lights that's all set up this is not a receiver i'm gonna put a hole through there and put a d-ring on there so that if i need to tow that is welded to the last two. Let's see if I can get this camera to show you guys. <clears throat> that is welded to the last two cross members on the trailer. And yeah. So check it out on this side, you guys. We got the 11 pound propane bottle. This is enough propane to last me for the whole summer, I'm pretty sure. I can run the AK-40 kitchen off of it, and I can also run uh, a little Camp Chef propane fire pit that I got. So anyway, uh, we got a window, sliding window on this side, and everything's all tied in right to the chassis. It is pretty sick. Maxis Liberties off of the old x3 xrc that's x3 xrc rims too so anyway so let me bring you guys down here underneath the trailer it is pretty cool except for this particular suspension check it out so what i've done here is i've bolted the box to the trailer and it's bolted with six bolts uh, on the whole thing and then there's a couple of self tappers in a couple of various places but this suspension you guys it is way too much for this trailer this is this is 2,000 pound axle and the trailer like it is without the AK-40 kitchen and the propane bottles, only 500 pounds. So it doesn't even touch the suspension. This suspension is going away this week, you guys. Stay tuned for what's coming. Say, uh, chromoly, heim joint, uh, trailing arm, coilover, suspension. Yeah, that's going to be sweet. Anyway, this, the, this suspension is going away. But I had to show it to you because it was really super easy. And like I said in one of my last videos, uh, it was able to get us to use the trailer for Easter camp out. So that's the suspension. All right, guys, let's check out the inside of this thing. Light switches. This one's for the outside, this one's for the inside. Yahoo. So you guys, what I did different on this one too is you can see that reflection, how cool is that? I used the same aluminum that I used on the exterior, 
for the bulkhead. That's what I'm gonna call that is the bulkhead between the storage and the sleeping area. And then for this cabinet, I use that as well as some of the same material that I put on the ceiling. So that is quarter inch white MDF board. And you can see I got it on top sides here. Everything's molded out. I've got the the port for the diesel heater right here on a swivel. So if you want it to blow on you or if you want it to blow over you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I also used on this one, you guys, let me know what you think about that siding. That is the MDF paneling just from Home Depot. And I think it adds kind of a cabiny, nice homey feel to it. So also got my USB port, my 12 volt port, and also my battery voltage there so I can check that at night and open the window. Also on the interior, you guys check it out. This bed is six feet, eight inches long. And then there is a ton of storage back there for blankets and pillows and sleeping bags and all those other camping doodads. Got the fan to let some air out because no lie, you guys, being black soaks up the heat. You know what black does. I don't have to tell you that, but I do have to tell you that it makes the trailer kind of warm. So the fan is essential and the screen on the door. Yeah. It just works, you guys. I love it. Well, that's it for the uh, UTV Overland trailer. Tell me what you guys think. Minus the suspension, uh, I think she is about this close to a uh, production model. Whoa, I might have said too much. Like if you do, subscribe if you haven't. And woo, thanks for checking out the Rocky Mountain Backcountry UTV Overland trailer. Yeah, I like it. Thanks, you guys. We'll catch you on the next one.